Hey guys and welcome to my video on how to install Optifine with Feed the Beast. I've been asked this question a few times so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. I'm going to do this in layman's terms so I'm not going to get too technical about it so it's going to be easy for you to follow. So first go to Optifine.net and this is what the web page will be. Um, click on Optifine here and it'll take you to the actual forum page on Minecraft forums where you can actually download the Java file. So scroll down the page and um, there's three different versions of Optifine you can use. Um, the most easiest one to install, well not easy to install, but if you've got a slow computer um, I recommend using Optifine B5 Lite. Um, there may be a different version available by the time you're watching this video, um, but obviously download the Lite version if your computer is a bit slow. But um, I'm going to download Optifine HD B6 Ultra, which is the new version out, which is compatible with uh, Minecraft 1.4.7. That is what Feed the Beast is running at the moment. Um, apart from Feed the Beast Beta, um, that's the Minecraft pack and the Minecraft pack, sorry, and um, uh, the Die Wolf pack. So we're going to download this. So go here. Hopefully it will load. So actually wait for the advertisement to load and wait five seconds. So it says please wait in the top right here. And once it's done, click on skip ad like so. And then click on this link here which says download it. Well, download the zip file. And it's going to download straight by here. Okay, so now that you have the downloaded file, you want to open this up and show in folder. Obviously, if you're using a different browser, you're going to have to locate where your downloads are on your computer. So just go to um, um, users, your username, and then downloads. That's the actual directory of where the actual download will be. Okay, so next you want to open up the Feed the Beast. So to do that, go to your computer and go to wherever you say Feed the Beast, the actual file. I've actually labeled mine Feed the Beast 2. Head on in. Go to Minecraft um, with Die Wolf. It obvi obviously would say Die Wolf. Um, Insta mods. And what you want to do is drag and drop the actual zip file into um, the Insta mods folder, like so. Okay, so that is now installed. Um, so what we want to do now is go back to the launcher for Feed the Beast and just launch it. Um, just run it like so. Okay, so now we want to go to. Um, edit mod pack like so and what it'll do it'll bring up a list of the mods in the actual game um, Our aim right now is actually to um, it put Optifine in here and make sure it's enabled and um, we want to do it for Java mods too um, But as you can see because I dropped um, Let me just close this because I dropped it into the insta mod folder right by here See Optifine um, it'll show up right in this um, jar mod section here and we can see that it's enabled so the next thing we want to do is put it in this section here and enable it so you can open the folder up like so and it'll show you um, the, mine, the, the Minecraft mods here which is also which is in a different location to the Minecraft mods so what we would like to do right now is um, we want to copy and paste Optifine in here so go back to where you dropped Optifine to, which is right by here in the Insta Mods, and you want to go right click and then you want to copy. Okay, now go here where the jar mods are and you want to paste it in here. Right click and paste. Okay, so that is installed on there now. So if we just scroll down, um, I don't think it'll be here, so we need to close it and then reopen it again. What's going on, computer? Let's do it again. There we go. Okay, so let's scroll down, and as you can see, we've got Optifine here, and it's already enabled, so we want to close this. Now, we want to close the actual Feed the Beast launcher, and then we want to go back to the launcher again and relaunch it. Um, I've noticed that launching it straight away while it's still active um, doesn't allow it to launch, um, doesn't allow Optifine to kick in properly. Okay, so now we're going to launch it like so. And we're going to test out to see if Optifine is actually installed properly on here. So let's just let Feed the Beast launch. I've got a little bit of a graphical glitch on screen as you can see. Um, I've been having trouble with my uh, graphics card recently. So let's just wait for this to launch and um, double check to see if it's installed. Um, if you've got any questions guys, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Um, I tried to make this bit, uh, video as basic as possible and so easy to understand. Um, I notice when I watch other people's videos on how to install uh, mods like so that it, it can be a bit um, hard to understand. 
Okay, so let me just correct this graf graphical glitch and I'll be right back. Okay, so let me just pull this up on here. Let me just shrink my window. I'm actually not capturing the full screen at the moment. So let's put Minecraft here. If we scroll down here over the Minecraft um, word in 1.4.6, you can see that it's got Optifine installed right below it says. If you go to options, to double check if Optifine is installed, if you go to video settings, it will give you a bunch of extra options like this. So you can go to performance, like change dynamic lighting, animation, and so forth like that. So it's pretty easy to install. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Um, I do a lot of Minecraft um, Let's Plays, and uh, I do some more um, gaming um, Let's Plays too. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys, and I shall be seeing you next time in another Minecraft video. So peace out.